All right, this is a game that I call Beanbag Leapfrog. Okay, the each one of these circles represents a hula hoop. This is a hula hoop, hula hoop, a hula hoop, and a hula hoop. Each one of the stars represents uh, students in relay formation. Um, this is a game I play with kindergarten, first, and second graders. And the object of the game is for each team to collect as many circles, poly spots, as they can. Now we actually pretend that these circles, that the poly spots, okay, that the poly spots here, that the poly spots are lily pads. And uh, te the class's job is to get as many lily pads for their frogs as they can before they're all gone. Now each team would have a bean bag that would look like a frog, like a frog bean bag. So obviously the red team red team here would have a red frog, the white team would have a white frog, blue would have a blue frog, and gray would have a gray frog. And on the signal, okay, on the signal, the first person in the line would run to a poly spot and stand on it, and their job is to stand on that poly spot and try to toss their frog into a bucket, which is represented by this gray square. So this uh, could either be a laundry basket, uh, any type of bucket. So the student would stand on that and try to over, overhand or underhand toss their frog into the bucket. Now if the student makes it, okay, if that student makes their frog into the bucket, they run and go get their frog and then they are able to pick up, and they are able to pick up that lily pad that they were standing on, okay, pick up that lily pad and then they have to run and put it back in their team's hula hoop. And then obviously once they did that, then they would signal or tag the next person in line. Then we tag the next person in line right here and then that person would go and stand on another poly spot, go and stand on another poly spot and try and toss their frog into the bucket. Now, if they do not make it, this is a big rule, if that student does not make it, they are uh, not allowed to pick up that poly spot. Then they would have to go back to their team and wait for their next turn. Whereas maybe that this blue team missed doesn't mean that somebody from this white team doesn't mean that somebody from this white team can't come over here and stand on that poly spot or go and stand on this one and try and make it. And the game keeps going until all the poly spots are gone. And then you count on how many poly spots each team has in their hula hoops and that determines the winner. Um, some other rules is the students cannot scoot the poly spots forward and Again, you can either work it with overhand or underhand throwing, and more information on this game will be on my blog. Thanks.